Shia LaBeouf. Oh, yeah. It's, I've been waiting for that one. <laughs> you know what? He's good. He's good. You need fucking... The best art comes from the crazies. So he we is... wouldn't have... I see dead people. That's him, right? Shia LaBeouf did The Sixth Sense. No, Sons. that's Haley Joel Osment. No, but Shia LaBeouf, wasn't he the fucking guy who wrote it? Why are you saying Shia LaBeouf? What, how is Shia LaBeouf? Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf? That's I don't know where Shia, Shia the freaking beef, dude. <laughs> Shia the beef. You obviously don't listen to Ten Cent Beer Life. Like, one of the <laughs> fucking running gags is me fucking words. Like, I don't know how to say anything. Um, yeah, so he did The Sixth Sense, right, though? He directed it? Who am I thinking of? Or is he just an actor? Shia LaBeouf? Hole. He's even Stevens, bro. He was in Holes. I've never seen Holes. You've never seen Holes? No. Dude, Shia the freaking beef. He's an eagle eye. The, he's Sam Witwicky in Transformers, the OG Transformers. You never saw it. Dude, one time I stayed homesick from school. I was going to bring this up last episode, but I didn't. I stayed homesick from school, and I saw Transformers. Did you masturbate, time. though? No, but if I did at the, oh, I was I was too young. But if I did at the time, Megan Fox in that movie, I definitely would have. Yes, yeah, you're one right. One of the iconic Megan Fox ass and titty scenes. Who am I thinking of? The fucking twist. Oh, M Night Shyamalan is who I'm fucking him up with. I'm fucking him up with the M M Night Shyamalan. That you couldn't have picked two diff more different. I know, people. I know, I know. But I know. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and read. Stupid. I'm gonna go ahead and read Shia's filmography. I'm sh- I, I know he's famous. I've, I've heard the name. He is crazy. Don't know though. how to pronounce it. He, I know he's he, crazy. He's like one of the worst boyfriends you could ever ask for. He's like physically and emotionally abusive. He's fucking crazy. So he's dude. bad then. He's bad. But you said good and you're going to stick but by that. But I thought it was no, M. Night Shyamalan. That's why you I You thought it was M. Night Yeah, that's why I was like confused. <laughs> I fucking look at the twist. There it is. I'm stupid. Dude, he's an eye robot. Eagle eye. Honey boy. Did you see Honey boy? No. Dude, do you love your dad? Uh, I did. Is he dead? Yeah, he's been dead. I still love him, but he's dead. Watch Honey Boy. It'll fuck you up. No, I don't want to be fucked up. It's so good. It's like his... It's like he... Well, it's it's a little... Like, okay, psychologically... Like, do you... Are you, like, into, like, like philosophy? Like, you ever read that shit growing up? Eh. And by growing up, I mean, like, in your 20s. Like... Like Freud and when I was and smoking stuff. joints and be like, oh yeah. man, the world is actually an oyster. Yeah, or like that. every 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 man is just trying to be his father and marry his wife and every you know, stuff like that. No, no. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm very shallow. I'm dumb. I'm a dumb person. But I you never by. heard stuff like that? Sure, of course. I've heard it. Yeah. But... Uh so he wrote so he went to like he went to like a mental hospital or like rehab. I think it may be rehab. In the movie. No, Shia LaBeouf for real went to yeah, rehab. Okay. And he was getting therapy, and he wrote a movie about himself, and then the movie is about him in therapy, writing the movie, one of those deals. But it's about him and his dad. His dad was, like, super abusive. Uh, Like, he pushed him into acting at a very young age. Uh, But he plays his own dad in a movie about how fucked up his dad made him. Damn. Isn't that wild? Yeah. That's like a wild thing to put to like make yourself do. Did didn't he do like a movie premiere and like fuck people people over or something on that or like locked him in? Oh no, he did like this he did a lot of like weird art. performance art. Yeah, 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 for, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. there was one year where he hitchhiked across the country and he would post where his next stop was gonna be and anybody could pick him up. And he would just get in the car and go with them to the next stop. So that was one thing he did, which is interesting. And the other thing he did is he rented out a theater and he played all of his movies in the order that he made them. And he said the theater was open. Anybody that wants to watch can come watch. And he filmed himself watching his own movies. That's pretty arrogant. Is that, but like he's like, that's, he's just an artist. Stop. Oh yeah, dude. Like that's his whole identity is I am an artist and I'm like important like that, which I mean, it's like a, in turn, yes, it's extremely arrogant and narcissistic, but in terms of the things that you could do, with that, oh, yeah. with that type of psychological position, it's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, yeah. Pretty interesting. Um, he could have, he could have scammed the prices right too, probably. <laughs> he, yeah, he really put his mind to it. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, he's one of those guys. But that's a dude. But like, you're getting at something that I've tried to talk about a lot. It's like uh, when you see like 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 Lady Gaga, you're like, oh, she's like one of the most talented people ever. It's like, yeah, she probably would have been good at anything she tried to do. She just chose to do music. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Like a lot of people are like that. And like, some people choose evil. You know, like <laughs> that's what it is. You know. 
Literally. Dude, Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, that's the hot topic right now. He could have been a great car mechanic, probably. Mm -hmm. He could have obsessed over those cars, like how cars work, what like what parts do, why they call it. He could have obsessed over it. But instead he was like, yeah, I want to... Uh, I want to kill these b gay blacks. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's all about it. <laughs> so weird. Ohio I, State alum. Well, he didn't alum. He got kicked out. But he went to Ohio State for a little bit. You mean the Ohio State? Yes, you're right. I fucked it up. <laughs> Jeffrey, imagine Jeffrey Dahmer. He invites some dude over to seduce and kill him. And he <laughs> fucks up Ohio State. He's like, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to yeah. see the end of this fucking uh, Penn State game. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm now I have to fingers. kill you. Yeah. I maybe wasn't going to kill you. Yeah. But now I have to. Imagine how pissed off you'd have to make Jeffrey Dahmer for him to kill you and then not even eat you. <laughs> you disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to fuck you either. Yeah. That's Thanks for watching that video. If you want to watch more clips from the show, please feel free to. If you want to watch full episodes, those are also available. If you liked me and you just want to see more of my stuff, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I upload the podcast and clips every week. I upload some sketches. I do stand up, so there'll be videos of that. I also make short films, so you could watch films, maybe some scenes that I direct every now and again. Every subscriber helps, every view counts. Thank you so much for watching.